today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute reindeer ears so what I've actually done with mine because I made a version last year but I wasn't entirely happy with them because as you can see the ear sits above the bow and what my nieces did last year because it was just attached to this clip my youngest niece Evie literally ripped one of the ears off so I found this way of doing it and it's slightly more secure as you can see and I've done these super cute little one inch tartan bows over the top alternatively obviously quite a few people do them with the flowers instead I just like the bows and like I said because I find like tartans quite Christmassy and my antlers are from these are from last year um, and this was from the Joe Leafs Christmas mega bundle from last year so there was like four packs of antlers four packs of santa's hats things like that for a set amount um obviously at the moment you wouldn't get them in time for christmas because the joe leaf cut off uh, embroidery is still on like three to five weeks depending on what items that you're currently purchasing so it's probably one to have a look at next year but like i said if you've got any any antlers yourself or like i said you've got um one of the dies because like i said Joe Leaf also does the bit of everything dye and that's got two different sets of antlers so you could play around with glitter or faux leather alternatives instead of embroidery or any type of antlers that you specifically want so you, like, so you can completely play around with this. Now the thing I did with mine is to make my reindeer ears. This is actually, make sure you can see it, this is a plastic template of a unicorn ear that I had from another bow tutorial a uh, bow set that i had so basically i've taken that and what i did is i took this i drew around it as you can see and then what i've also done is we're going to use these clips so i did three times the width of the clip here to fold it round because obviously we want to wrap it round and up you see round and over the clip so we can get that in place so that's what they do so let's get into it and these are the templates I made so like I said I cut that shape made it longer and then what I also did is I made some inner ear pieces so I worked out how big I wanted the ear piece behind and how much of it I wanted to see and I've cut this little one as well but like I said what I did is I worked with the shape and worked out how much of the pink that I wanted to see and I've done all of mine in felt but again alternatively if you really wanted to you could make yours in um, faux leather and glitter like I said so you can completely play around with this tutorial you can completely make it yourself out your own you can use the bows you can use flowers etc things like that so on this one I've made my template then turn it over so that's your left, that's your right and again you want to do the same thing with this template you want to have flipped it this way for that one and flipped it that way for that one or alternatively you can make yourself a left and right if you're not great at working out which way is which so like so whichever way works for you but like I said you can use a unicorn ear, you can use a cat ear if you've actually got a, a deer deer then like I said whatever works best for you and then we're just going to cut these out. Well, like I said, just remember to have one going in the left direction and one in the right. Otherwise, you'll end up with a very unusual looking reindeer. And you want to cut inside your lines or use one of the invisible markers that fades once you've cut, which air erasable marker so basically it, it fades and disappears after you've cut it well it just sort of vanishes fades away into nothing but i actually use pen today because the error razor actually fades too quick on felt and i wanted you to be able to see where i would drawn the outline so i'm just going to cut those out So there's my left, there's my right. We're going to do the same with these. So clipping. Like I said, make sure you're cutting away the pen marks. Okay. 
this one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I also have a Facebook group full of helpful advice and tips that I am extremely active in. So if you ever need any help with any tutorials or anything like that, I'm always available to answer questions and I'm always about in the group. So like I said, do pop along and join. The information's all in the description along with the information for the to make in the tutorial. So as you can see, you've got your two sides, your left and your right. And what I like to do with my clip is you work out where you want your ears to face and I pop it because this is where we want the clip to sit. So you pop your clip like this and then work out where you want your ear to sit like so. So like I said just work out where you want it to adjust obviously if you wanted to you could cut this it's just so you've got enough to work with when you're working it out so there's one side and as you can see the deer ears folding that way and again this is also where you would work out where you want to put your ear or whether or not you need to cut it down a little bit So I've just cut mine a little shorter, as you can see, to make sure there's quite a bit of brown felt showing beneath. So there we go. So I think that's exactly how I like it. And I've got my antlers, so I'm going to put those between the felt to give the antlers something else to grip onto. And this is what it's going to look like. Alternatively, if you like it the other way, like the shape, but now I'm going to stick to it this way. So we're going to move that bit out of the way. We're going to put some glue here. And because we're using felt, hot glue is absolutely perfect because it will sit as it should. And as you see, I'm just going to put that antler in there and work out where I want that to sit and put a little bit of extra glue on the front of the antlers as well and then pinch that together okay so that's the right side and then take your ear line it up bit of glue across the bottom And then you can glue the rest of the tip like that. But like I said, always glue the bottom first. So you don't put too much glue on the point and like over glue up. We don't want any glue up here. So like I said, that's the easiest way to do it. So as you can see, starting to look like ears now. And the other thing I do is I do one to the left and one to the right. So like I said, when we put them over, over a ponytail, like pigtail set, they go in the right direction. So if that makes sense. So again, take your clip, work out where you want it to roll up. The other thing is, is when you do this, make sure both your ears, so that one's a bit too far down because as you can see the ear tips were, that side was higher than the other one. So you want them to be the same height. So there we go, they'd be the same height. And I always do it right against the corner of the clip there as well. So glue again here. And you can make these ears as big or as small as you like. So like I said, have a play around with your... And again, make sure your antlers are sort of in the same position on both sides as well. That's quite important. Because again, you want them to look the same. You want them to look as close to each other as you possibly can. And then just pinch that together and that will hold nice and firm. Again, the ear's a bit long, so we're just going to trim that down just a little bit like we did on the other one. There we go. And 
we do that just above the clip level. Go along there, line your fingers. And then we're going to glue, well, looks like we need some more glue on there. That's better. Try not to get your fingers in the glue like I just did there. And there's your two plain antler sets. And as you can see, I've already made one of the little tux bows already. And I'm going to glue across this bit to glue it to the ear. There you go. And then we pop that in front of the... The antler yeah like so so there's one side and then as you can see this is six inches and i have folded it in half and pinned it on the center and what we're going to do is we're going to bring each side in half a centimeter over the pin like so so you get this Repin that in the middle, and I've already got my needle and thread ready. And we're going to do four stitches starting from above, as always, to get two creases in our little one inch tux bow. So, where your line is one, two, you can take your pin out now, three, four. So to this side, in one, two, three, four, on that side. And you could do a red centre, obviously I'm going to do black to match the tartan. And this tartan ribbon is from Love Your Crafts LTD Limited. And the felt is from Crafty Koala. And if you have a look at my video tutorials, I've actually done un openings, unboxings for both that those materials were featured in. This is one of the reasons I had actually purchased to, to make this tutorial. So that's what they were for. This specific tartan and this specific felt, that was what, was what I was waiting for. So I've got my nine millimeter black for the center. I'm just gonna glue, a drop of glue just on there and wrap this around our middle. Hold it for a second so it doesn't move and then wrap that as tight as you can. Okay. Cut the excess off and heat seal that. There we go. So that's our other version, matches that nicely. And again, glue across across there. Mind your fingers, don't do what I've just done, which is get your glue everywhere and glue it to yourself rather than your antler set. Let's get the glue stringies off me and the bow. It's what happens when you don't let your glue set up for long enough. That's better. And there we go got a cute deer antler antler set with the tartan ribbons like i said don't be afraid to hold that down for a couple of seconds so it's nice and firm and then i will show you and i have a slight obsession with the guardians of the galaxy so i have my little i don't have any like doll hairs or anything like that that i can show you on so i'll show you on these and what you do is in front of the ponytail obviously i'm having to do this on ears but you'd pop them in like that 
And how cute does he look? So that's what they'd look like in front of ponytails. So how cute are they? And that's a slightly shorter versions. And obviously you can make the ears as long or as short or as big or as small. Like I said, you can use felt, you can use your glitter, you can use your faux leather. You can make unicorn versions, you can make deer versions, you can do whatever you you like. So like I said, have fun, play around with it. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.